What's up guys, iApple Tuber here and today I'm going to show you guys a method on how to recover your lost data. So let's say if you actually lost a photo, a video, important document, an important email or anything as such which is really important to you or is very personal to you and really want it back. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually get those files back to your devices. Works on iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch works on iOS 8, iOS 9, and iOS 10. It doesn't need a jailbreak, but you do need a computer and a program so to get this back. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually get it. So get onto your computers and follow the video. Okay guys, so once that you're onto your computer, you want to click on the link in the description, the first link in the description to take you right here. So the name of the software is Phone Rescue. So now let me go over some points to let you guys why I actually even chose this software. So it actually allows you, as I mentioned to recover your photos and data. So it actually says that it can rescue your data, which it actually does. I did already try it out. And here as you can see, there's a lot which is saying that you can, it's more than five, you can, uh, you can even save it to your iPhone. You can save it to your computer if you want. So here's the software phone rescue. I already have installed on my computer. So here as you can see phone rescue. There's a few points that it actually tells you to turn off iTunes, which means it's better not to use iTunes with this. It might interfere with that. And yet you must, you must have a USB connection. So click on I'm ready to start. So once you click on that, so once you click on that, it says you can recover from iOS device. You can recover from iTunes backup, you can recover from iCloud, and there's also some iOS repair tools, so which is great. So it doesn't just t recover your data, but it also repairs your iPhone if it, if it has any issues with its system data. So here as you can see guys, I want to actually go with the iOS device. I do actually like the recover from iTunes backup a lot. The recover from iCloud is not what I will choose from, but it's also good for some people who have a lot of data on their iCloud and if they lost something, you can actually recover it using the iCloud method. So I'm going to actually record from the iOS device. So what you need to do, you just want to go ahead and connect it to your device. So what you want to do is first of all, go get charging cable and connect it to your device just as such as you can see, I've gone ahead and connected it. Now, as you can see, it already says your iPhone is connected. Now, if you want to recover it, all it say you want to click on this and then you want to click on this arrow the right arrow and just wait for it to analyze your device so just give it a few moments be patient let it analyze your device and it will allow you to search up and find out which data you have lost so let me go ahead and wait for this one to finish up analyzing the device okay guys so as you can see right there it took about five to six minutes to load all this as my device has a lot of information so it did find a lot of data which I've lost so I can be able to recover. So it has its contacts, call history, messages, messages attachments. So it also says the amount that each have, like contacts have 221 contacts, which I've actually removed. If you want to recover, they can recover. There's like calendar, reminders, notes, note attachment, there's even photos. This is very important if you lost any photos, you can go ahead and recover that. Photo videos, like there's even voice memos if you lost lost any of them there's ibooks app documents i've already mentioned whatsapp is also there if you if you're a guy who has whatsapp and lost like some photo or important documents you can actually be able to recover it there's also with the line app and the line attachment so it's very very good app so i did actually love this app because as you can see it, it has a lot that i can recover and check for myself so right now in this section for the app audio so from GarageBand I actually did some videos for ringtones if you guys remember so here I like the sound of the ringtones so which I've actually removed already from my device and if you want to recover them it's as simple as this guy so what you want to do you want to click on this icon right there once you do that it will say recover the following items to your device so you can recover your contacts messages calendars reminders notes and you can actually reselect that what you want to recover then once you click on them you can actually be recover them back to your device or you can also save it to your computer with this method here which will actually recover your data like that let me go ahead and pause that and it will actually recover your data to your computer if that is what you want to do so let me go ahead and stop this process okay guys just to let you guys know before ending this video the software is actually free to download but there's a limitation so it will actually allow you to search your device find what you want to recover but once you want to recover them it will ask you to purchase the software so if there's really really some important information then i highly do recommend you guys that go ahead and purchase it and recover your important data so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope that you guys did enjoy this video if you did please drop a thumbs up for the video so check out the link in the description for all the information about the software and the download links and also guys merry christmas have a great christmas with your family and friends see you guys soon with more videos i apple 2 here signing off